Welcome back my YouTube family. Today's video is going to be a blast as we dive into the world of online sales and explore this awesome sales dashboard. These charts will make you a data master in no time. At the top of our dashboard, we have the fantastic four KPIs, total orders, total sales, total profit and average shipping days. These little cards give a quick snapshot of how our online business is performing. It's like having a set of superheroes guarding our data. You know, these KPIs are like the Avengers. They assemble and protect our business from the chaos of bad decisions. Now let's munch on some delicious donor charts. The first donor chart is the sales by payment mode. We have online card and store sales so we can plan. So our next donor chart is sales by region. Here each region is competing for the title of sales champion. So as per this data, West is the champion region with 33% share with reference to the total sales. Next donor chart is for sales by segment. Here each segment is competing for the champion in the perspective of segment. So consumer segment is the champion here with the 48% of the total shares. Now let's move towards the landscape of monthly sale trends of 2019 and 2020. This is a comparative analysis of, of two years. We can compare the sales of both years. So similarly, I have the comparative analysis for month profit on the basis of years. So here I can compare the profit for each month with reference to the years. Moving forward, I have the bar chart for sales by ship mode and sales by category. Here I can see I will be making the strategy for ship mode by seeing this bar chart. Moving forward, I have the sales by category and I will be making the my advertisement strategy by seeing this chart. Like I have to invest more money on the advertisement on office supplies. Similarly, I have the subcategories and these subcategories are connected with the categories. And obviously when I will be making the advertisement budget, I will be considering the top categories and the top subcategories. So this is all with reference to the introduction of this power packed e-commerce online store. Now let's get started and start building this powerful dashboard. So first of all, I'm going to convert my this data into table. Press Ctrl T from your keyboard. Make sure this option must be checked. OK. I'm going to change the name of the sheet to sales data. I'm copying this going to my table design and here I will change the name of this table. This changing name of the table is necessary because later on the tracking of this table can be easy. Right now you have one table in this sheet but in other cases you might have more than one table. So you need to give the meaningful name to the table so the tracking can be easy. I'm going to select my these columns and press 1 from my keyboard. From here I'm going to number to date and I will be selecting uh, this format of date. Now I'm going to power pivot from here I'm going to data to data model so add to data model. Now I'm going to design from here I will be adding this date table new. Basically I'm adding this calendar table so later on I can make the calculations for time intelligence. So here I'm going to add month name. Basically, I want a shorter name. So I will be using the formula of format. I will be selecting my this date, comma. In inverted commas, I will be writing MMM. So it will give me the shorter name of the month. Now I'm going to home. From here, I'm going to diagram view. From diagram view, now I have two tables. Basically, this is a data modeling. Here, I'm going to connect this date with this. I will be uh, connecting this with the order date. So now, my these both tables are connected to each other, and this is called the data modeling in Power Pivot. Now, I'm going back to my data view, and here I will be making some DAX calculations. So my first calculation is for sum sum of sales. So I have to calculate my sale. I will be typing sale sum sum is the DEX calculation formula and I need to calculate my these sales press enter
now i have to calculate my orders so orders and i will be making the count of these order id because each row contain one order so i'm going to need count the number of rows so these are my orders next i have to calculate my profit sum sum of this profit so i already having a name of profit so i need to change it sum so i'm adding underscore with it press okay so this is my profit now i have to calculate the average days for the product delivery so for this i have to calculate here the total number of days so here i have to subtract the ship date minus order date the difference of the ship date and the order date or the total number of days in which the product were delivered so ship days average i will be taking the average of this newly column press okay and one thing i need to change i have to convert this to a number so basically this is a date so i'm converting it to a number so now i'm selecting all of my these dax calculations from here i'm going to remove the both decimals press this one and so i'm done with my dax calculations so now i'm going to select the color theme for my this powerful dynamic and interactive dashboard for this i will be visiting my sheet here i'm going to visit my page layout from this color i'm going to select this red theme for my this powerful dynamic and interactive dashboard so again i'm going to my power pivot manage and now i have to add my charts one by one so i'm going to pivot table pivot table press okay so my first chart is sales by mode i'm copying this selecting my pivot table going to pivot table analyze and here i will change the name of this pivot table to sales by mode later on when i have to connect the slices with my pivot tables so this will be easy for me for connection now i'm going to select my payment mode this is my payment mode and i have to calculate my sales now i'm going to insert from here i will be selecting my this donut chart right click on it hide all field buttons select this one delete copy this one and i'm going to paste it here now click on it data labels double click on my chart this format area will pop up now i'm going to select my this data labels i'm going to data label options from here i will be selecting category name and percentage make it bold and the size of the chart will be i'm selecting my chart format and it will be 2.37 and 3.15 now i have to click this one this color i'm going to my border solid line here i will be selecting this color same color and i will make it 6 now i will be selecting this color solid line selecting the same color and i will make it 3 need to select this color now i will be selecting this one select the same color to this one and make it 1 1.5 that is already 1.5 so my this chart is ready
Now I will be right click on it, mover copy, create a copy and this will be my sales by region. I am copying this one, selecting my this pivot table, going to pivot table analyze. Here I will replace it with sales by region, press ok. Here I will remove this payment mode with my region. Now I am selecting this one going to double click on my chart select this one going to my border solid line need to select the same color this one make it make it six now i will be selecting my this one solid line to this color and make it just four then I'm going to select this one, going to solid line and I will be selecting my this color and I will make it 2. Now I will be selecting this one, going to select the same color and make it 0. Now this is looking perfect. Now I'm going to again right click on it, mover copy, create a copy. This is my sales by segment copy this click on my pivot table going to pivot table analyze and here I will be change the name of that table to sales by segment I am returning back to my sales by region and I will replace the title to sales by sales by region now I will be returning back to my sheet and I will replace the name as well so right click on it show field list here I will replace this region with segment now I will be selecting this one and solid line selecting the same color and I will make it 6 now I will be selecting this one solid line and I will be I will be selecting the same color and make it 3 now I will be selecting this one solid line to the same color of this one not this one need to select this color and I will make it 1 so my this chart is also ready so now I'm going to right click on it, mover copy, create a copy. I'm going to change the name of this sheet to month sales trend. Copying this, selecting this my pivot table, going to pivot table analyze and here I changed the name of the pivot table. Now I'm going to replace this segment with this number or month number and my year will be in columns and I already sales in my values that is ok here so now I am going to right click on it uh, change chart type and from here I will be selecting my area chart and this second chart I am selecting press ok click my this chart I am going to my format and from here I am going to select this 3 to 5.7 so this is the dimension that I'm going to use for this chart. Now click on it and uncheck this data labels. Now I'm double clicking on my chart. I'm selecting this one and solid line. I'm converting this solid line to black. Solid line to black. And this is my month sales trend. 2019 to 2020 so basically this is my 2019 and this is my 2020 so here I compared my both years on this chart at the same time I can see the sales for the both years now right click on it create a copy this is my month profit trend I'm copying this and I'm going to my pivot table analyze and I change the name of this 
pivot table. So here I will replace this this sales with my profit. So this is my profit. Now I'm going to double click my this chart, selecting this one and solid line to black. So now I just changing the title to month profit trend. So now I'm going to right click on it, move, create a copy and I will change the name to sales by category, sales by category. I'm copying this, going to select my this table, pivot table analyze and here I'm going to change the pivot table name to sales by category. Now I'm replacing this month number with category. This is my category and here I have to replace it with, with my sales. Now I'm going to right click on it change chart type this bar chart selecting this one press ok sort it from smallest to largest now i'm clicking this one grading this and dimensions will be 3 by 3 so this is my sales by now right click on it move create a copy create a copy these are my sales by sub category i'm copying this click here design pivot table analyze and i'm going to replace the name here i will replace the title with sales by sub category and here i replace this category with sub category So right click on it, sort from largest to smallest. Now I'm going to create one more copy, move, create a copy and this will be my sales by ship mode. Copying this, click here, going to my pivot table analyze and I will replace this name and here I will replace this with ship mode right click on it smallest to largest and I will check the data labels for it control B sub category as well control uh, data labels and make it bold data labels and make it bold so now I'm going here one sheet, here I will be getting my KPIs that I will be showing at the top of my dashboard. So I'm going to this sales by region and I'm copying this pivot table. The first KPI that I want to display on my dashboard that is the order. Here I'm going to disable this region disable this sales as well now i'm going to this my order id and i will count these orders here a calculated mayor for orders where i calculated the unique orders so i will place this order into the values so these are my orders 5901 now i'm going to pivot table analyze and these are my orders now i'm copying it again and here I want my sales so I will replace these orders with sales so this is my sales now I'm going to my pivot table analyze and I will replace it to sales this is my sales now I'm copying it again and I want to calculate here the profit so I will replace these sales with profit so this is my profit going to pivot table analyze and name it to profit now i want the ship days so i'm copying it again and here i calculated the ship days so these are my ship days 
so these are my kpis and now these are ready and i will be using at the top of the dashboard in the form of cards so now i will be start building my main dashboard sheet so this is my main dashboard sheet i will be selecting this auto hide ribbon from here now i'm going to page layout background black gradient color i will be selecting this one insert going to view and i will remove these grid lines i will be visiting my all the chart sheets one by one and i will be cut paste my those charts on my main sheet select this one control x going to my main sheet control v So now you need to select this graph you need to go to format from here shape fill to none you need to select this chart and you have to press f4 from your keyboard to repeat the previous task f4 select one f4 this one f4 this one f4 f4 f4, f4 and f4 now i'm selecting this grid line press delete from your keyboard delete this grid line delete 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 and delete now i'm selecting this title and you have to make it white press this one press f4 select this one f4 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 So now I'm changing its border color to white because white is looking more beautiful on this background. So I'm selecting this my chart, selecting this one, solid line and making to white. Same with it, solid line to white. And I'm adjusting this chart as per the space I have on my sheet. I'm going to insert text box here i will be typing online store sales dashboard making this 22 to comic make it bold center align middle align i'm going to shape format shape fill to gradient select this one now i will be visiting my gradient color and i will be selecting this one gradient with little bit of white shape color to shadow this shadow 
I think uh, comic and the font color will be converted to white. Now I'm going to add my cards at the top of the dashboard. So I'm going to this shape. shape outline to white so these are my orders from here I'm going to on my formula bar so I'm selecting this one is equal to so these are my KPIs so I'm linking this to my orders basically these are my orders so I'm making it uh, center line making it center line and its size to 18 make it bold and its font font style will be comic now I'm going to insert and I will be adding one text box here here I will type orders control B center line Arial I'm going to shape format from here shape fill none and outline will be also none and I will make it to white 14 I think 12 will be okay now I'm going to insert from here I will be selecting this line make it black so now I'm selecting this this line and this order right click on it and make it group press ctrl shift from your keyboard and drag it on the right side again drag it on the right side again drag it on the right side so I'm selecting all of these my KPA cards and shape format to align and you need to select this distribute horizontally so these are my orders this will be my sales, this will be my profit and this will be my and here I will type equal to I am visiting my this KPI card and here I will be selecting my sales again I will be selecting this one is equal to and going to my KPI card and selecting my profit again selecting this one is equal to going to my KPI and here I will be selecting these average days now I will be selecting this this and I will be visiting to 22 I think this this was 18 18 make it white to comic now you need you need to select this is my Arial and 12 Arial and make it 12 now I'm going to select this 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 one this one and I'm going to my shape format from here I will be visiting this shape fill to gradient and I will be using this one select this one none and none select this one so this is okay now we have successfully added our 
KPA cards at the top of our dashboard. Again, I'm selecting this one, this one, this one, this one, and I'm right click on it, going to group and make them group. I'm going to view again, I'm disabling this my formula bar. So I'm going to insert my slicers. I'm clicking on it, going to insert slicer and I will be inserting the slicers for my region. This is my region and I will be putting the slicer for my year and month number. So this is my month number. Slicer and I will be selecting this one. This one. Making it two. Right click on it, going to Slicer settings and here uncheck this option and hide items with no data. I will be making this to 4 because I want to display my origins Now I'm going to slicer and make it 6. Point 42 is the height. I'm copying this and I will make its height to point 41. Point 41 and I have to select my slicer and I have to connect it with all the reports. I'm selecting my slicer. I'm going to report connection and here I will be selecting all of my reports. Now if you will select any slicer from here, it will slice all the data. I'm selecting this line and I'm converting it to white. Again selecting this one, press F4, this one F4, this one F4. Because white color is looking more beautiful on that background. So I converted color to white. Now I'm selecting my this chart and I'm selecting my this data label from here. I'm going to number and here you have to select this custom and I already added this format for thousand. But if you already not added this custom and you have to paste this code here and then you need to add it then it will be shown in this list so i'm selecting this one so it will convert my values into thousand now this is easy for me to read it like this is nine lakh twelve thousand so i'm selecting this one and going to select this going to number and from here to custom and i will convert it to thousand Again selecting this one, going to number and I will be selecting here custom and then I will select the formatting of thousand. Now I'm going to giving the final touch to our this powerful dashboard. So I'm going to my insert from here icons. So here I will be selecting this box cash coins and I'm inserting it white outline will also be white 
and make it 0.50 so I'm going to select and make them right align now this is my delivery time so I'm selecting all of my these icons and uh, I will change their size to 0.40 so now I'm increasing its size now I'm going to insert icon store okay going to icon again and here I will search store insert it and I'm going to this make this white also make it white and here I will be dropping its shadow I'm showing their shadow I'm selecting my charts and showing their shadows So again, I'm going to icons. Here, I will be searching for So now I'm going to this graphic format make them white white and size to 0.50 I'm selecting my these icons and I will make them to point 40 and finally we have completed this powerful dynamic and interactive dashboard our incredible online sales dashboard in all its colorful glory remember data is not just numbers it's the story of your business and these charts are the pages that tell that story thank you all of you joining me today if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out any data driven adventures until next time stay happy and goodbye